staging of a city carnival with the center. Ejo, no one approved of the government of COVID to again the Sigalengo. The Ministry of Health recently tasked the national medical stores to withdraw COVID-19 vaccines from districts which will not have utilized them by September 25th. Out of the 2,152,840 doses of vaccines distributed to districts, only 1,697,748 doses have been utilized. This means 455,095 doses have not been administered. Up to 68 districts have balances that will expire on September 30th, and these include Terego, Bunyangabu, Buvuma, Amuru, Namisindwa, Rengo, Rubirizi, Madiokolo, Kakumiro, Namutumba, Manafwa, and others. Gil Batokwi, the Deputy Resident District Commissioner for Manafa District and a member of the District COVID-19 Task Force, attributes the low vaccine uptake in his district to apathy and lack of interest in the coronavirus in spite of mass mobilization on the media. We have negative forces. Uh, that are, you know, uh, that are mobilized, giving people all sorts of messages and saying these vaccines are not safe. Manafa District received 6,000 doses from the national medical stores. However, Dr. Daniel Wenane, the district health officer, says with the lifting of the lockdown, majority of the residents believed that the pandemic had ended. They want to crowd, they no longer want to wash hands with soap and water. Cases We still get cases, and actually the past week we've had a positivity rate in Manafa of 15%. According to National Planning Authority's weekly COVID-19 case projections, for the week of 19th to 25th September, an average of 110 new cases per day and a weekly total of 771 new cases are projected. For the week of 26 September to 2nd October, a daily average of 117 new cases and a weekly total of 819 is projected. Statistics from the Ministry of Health show that the number of admissions in both government and private hospitals has increased from 366 in August to 426 as of 12th September. Soroti District has so far received 12,308 doses of COVID-19 vaccines. However, only about 6,000 doses have been used. So it's not surprising that we're still getting new infections. So yes, on average, um, from around 16th August to having 10 new cases on average daily. The district, which is currently being considered the epicenter of a new wave, is having severe disease fatalities. We're losing almost two people per day. The number average is 70 per day on admission, a half very ill on oxygen. So the problem is big. Locals in Butaleja district, which has the lowest vaccine uptake, say the false information given to them about the efficacy of the vaccines in the beginning put them off. Paso can it radio nebagamba? Despite being among the districts with the lowest uptake, Dr. James Kiria, the district health officer of Namutumba district, says the district will not be sending back unutilized vaccines. So far, the district has immunized 7,255 people. But you know this being a rural setup and it's a rainy season, so most of the people are busy in their gardens. We have actually stepped up the outreaches to sites which are to areas which are further than the sites. Benson Ekowe of the Teso Anti Corruption Coalition says as civil society they have done their part to sensitize the public. But he adds that locals listen more to religious leaders than to other people. Because in the church, if I tell you stand up, they stand. You clap, they clap. Uh, can you say amen? Amen. So that is society. 
which is now under lock, could be the main driver of the sensitization program. What is clear is that the low vaccine uptake in some districts can be attributed to inadequate information given to the residents to counter myths about the effects of the vaccines. Gillian Nantume, NTV Tonight.